Oh, hi there. I'm Tim Lee, the anally retentive hit network DJ. They wanted me to make a video about Zeta and all the cool stuff that it can do. This shot, for example, it's a lot like Zeta. Technically, you can see me. Everything's fine. We're communicating, does a good enough job. But if we get the composition right, fix the lighting, it's better, a bit of color grading. Boom! How much better does that look? It only took me like less than five minutes. It's the same how you'd approach a rave for like an island getaway. You could just talk about it, or you could put some steel drums in there, a seagull or three. If you've got a song coming up, you don't just talk about it, you play grab. You weren't gonna mention the Samurai Pizza Cats without actually having the theme music play, were you? Got a tweet? Get the sound effect. So you've got like six talk breaks per hour. That means you've actually got between seven and eight paneling events in that hour. Literally half of what you're doing is not talking that hour. Zeta has freed up so much time, especially if you've come from Maestro, where every three minutes you were paneling something. You can seg up 30 minutes in like five minutes easy and make it sound pretty good. Why not spend 10 minutes segging up those 30 minutes and make it sound millimeter perfect and you're still coming out on top time-wise. You've probably even got time to muck around with like one or two events that hour and really sink some time into there, like four minutes per seg, which seems crazy. But because those three segs before you literally did in 20 seconds, again, you've got the time. Are listeners going to notice your sick beat mix? Nope, they're not going to notice the majority of the stuff that you have slaved away doing. But that's not the point. They're not meant to notice. You're creating that wall of sound, forward momentum. You're crafting a, a feel. When I'm piecing together my R&B Friday shift, I want to make it sound like a block party. Like all the musical transitions are on beat. That black VO, I play around with it to kind of get him to sit in the groove, the rhythm of the song. I even back my mic off a smidge. So the music's louder, like I'm battling with the sound at a party. Music jockeying, to me anyway, is way more than just what's coming out of my mouth six times an hour. Like, I'm trying to think of everything holistically. So, with that rant over and done, let's check out uh, Zeta and how I use it, and I'm gonna kind of step through some of the cool features. First lesson, turn all of the default shit off. Yeah. All right, typically, this is how you'd set up this kind of a segue. Trim the intro so the sweep hits the post. Fade it in so it's not too jarring. Perth's hit 92.9. Nice, sounds all right. But spending an extra 30 seconds can make it sound great. Turn off auto fade and tucking. Now, that Taylor Swift song's ending in a bit of an acapella. I reckon if we bring that song in a little bit earlier, we can get those pianos going underneath. So let's just adjust all of the levels just so it sounds nice and consistent. Yeah. Hit 929. It's been a long. Nice. Alright, the track we're going into. Listen for the cool downbeat, the one with the yo. Turn off all that auto fade, all the dipping, so the sing to me line doesn't peter out. Yeah, the production elements are a little hot. Let's give it a nice little fade in. That's a pretty sting outro, isn't it? Gee, it'd be a shame if someone used the auto fade functionality in Zeta to cut it off. Dunn Craig's hit 92.9. Turn off auto fade and tucking. Dunn Craig's hit 92.9. All right, lastly, let's adjust the volume of the sweep because it is towering over the outgoing and incoming songs. So let's back it all off. Done, Craig's hit 92.9. I've been a liar, been a Done. And it only took us an extra 15 seconds, and now it sounds way more cohesive. All right, how's this for a common intro? Cold sweeps not fitting over the intros of songs. Heidi, Xavier, and Ryan live for free. Register now at hit. So you've got three options here. Put it down the back of the song and crash the vocals. Please don't do that. Let it run cold, eh, not optimal. The third is what we're going to do. We're going to make an extended intro in multi-track. So just pull that song in. Just find your edit points. Most songs work to a 4-4 rhythm. And then loop it. So here's the thing. You don't need to stress about making it sound perfect because the sweep's going to be over the top of it, masking any dodgy edits anyway. And because there's no volume edits that you've done, it's just simple A-B editing. You can just highlight, drag that straight back into the log to sick it up. Turn off auto-fade and tucking. Better than that. 
Lady Xavier and Ryan live for free. That Ladies loop is actually I... way louder than the song we're going into, so let's just back off the levels and done. Heidi, Xavier and Ryan live for free. All right, here's another example of the same concept. Now, you can get these from YouTube. Just search instrumentals or club edits or extended mixes. Eiffel 65 has no intro, but we're going to beat mix it all together. This is me! Okay. Old school. It's 92.9. Putting stuff in between the little vocal bits is something we all like to do. Uh, the song Numb Encore by Linkin Park has a lot of opportunities at the beginning. Let's drag them in to multi-track. Split the sweep so we can start mucking around with it and have a bit of fun. By the way... The song is only there for timing. Let's go. All right, let's just put that station ID before the vocals. 92.9. I'm lucky enough to have a whole bunch of celeb IDs. You could use interview grabs or listen to intros or late night talk show bits you got from YouTube. Listening to Tim Lee. I'm not going to lie, this bit gets a little bit fiddly. You just got to keep on working it until you find some combination that works with all the gaps. This is Phoenix, and this is Rob from Lincoln Park, and you're listening to Tim Lee. 92.9. And now to use it. The first thing you got to do, you got to mute the song. Because remember, that was just for timing. And the really important part is you can't use the highlight drag functionality because that forgets all of your volume and gain level edits. You have to use the drop-down menu. Save as pulling that asset into your log, muting the sweep because you don't want it to double up, and segue like your life depends on it. Ah! Old school. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Phoenix, and this is Rob from Lincoln Park, and you're listening to Tim Lee. Hit 92.9. Can I get an encore? All right, we are going to get tricky with this one. Old school. It's 92.9. So there's how the song actually is, and then there's how I want it to sound in the car when someone's listening. I want it to sound like a mix show, like the main vocal comes straight in. Oh, my God, we're back again. All righty, let's get stuck into it. Drag all the assets into multi-track and make sure that gain volume has been selected from the drop-down menu and then just start fiddling around so to your ear the volumes are all right. Place the sweep to where you want it to actually play out on air. Old school. It's 92.9. That. That is the downbeat where we're going to bring the actual song back in when we seg it all up in the editor later. Save as your multi-track to a quick record. Now, we're just looking for the last beat of the song that we can bring the back streets back. All right, vocal in on. Got it. Let's line everything up, give it a nice little fade in so it's not too jarring. Turn off auto fade and tucking. Now to find that downbeat so we can bring the oh my god, we're back again in at the right time. Now, after you found it from a ballpark point of view, it's kind of easy to match the beat. See on the left there, you just move it around, get everything in sync. All right, we've slaved away. Now let's listen to see how it's going to play out. Old school. It's 92.9. Again. All right, what do we have here? Oh, another example of this drop mixing. There it is, the last beat of the song. You hear it? Super defined. Now, we just need to find the downbeat of the incoming song. Yeah. Hi, this is Liam Payne. Turn off auto fade and tucking. By adding manual volume points, we can control everything and give it a really nice blend into Liam yeah. Payne. Yeah. Hi, this is Liam Payne. Hey, Fun fact, did you know wherever you right-click to set the volume point is where it will actually be placed? Yeah. Hi, this is Liam Payne. Hey, what's up? I'm Rita Ora. Now, sometimes if you're just powering through, setting up a whole bunch of stuff, just using those trim-in markers to hit everything onto the vocals, sometimes it sounds weird bringing songs in that have the beat already going. Oh, Old school. Hit 92.9. Mojo actually starts with that disco sample that I reckon is going to sound much better under the sweep. So just drag it into multi-track and highlight the region you're after and then back into your log to seg it all up. Lady. All right, nearly there. Yeah, it cuts off a little bit too quickly. Lady. Now that we've got everything on beat, let's butt that up against the sweep nice and tight. 92.9. Lady. 
a little tighter. Let's extend that end trim out on the sweep so the delay of the VO isn't cut off. Lastly, let's do a quick, simple fade in of that quick record and... Old school. Alright, so this is another super typical seg that you're going to have in your shift. So let's set up all the assets so it hits the post. We'll trim that, we'll fade it in, and... Uh, hit 92.9 Perth. I wanna follow yeah, again, you know. sounds alright. Turn off auto fade and tucky. Let's find a part of the song that's going to make sense bringing it in from. Alright, got it. I think that's going to sound good. Now let's find a beat in the first song that we can line it all up with. Hit 92.9 Perth. I reckon we'll do a quick volume adjust just so it's not clashy. Hit 92.9 Perth. Nearly there, I promise. Just that sweeps a little bit loud. Hit 92.9 Perth. Alright, alright, alright. This is going to be the last one. I'm getting pretty picky now, but... I hate going from vibey songs into something that's like really down tempo. Groves hit 92.9. Now normally you just fade it out, trying to make it sound as smooth and gradual as possible. Like. Urban Groves hit 92.9. Or let's devote a little bit more time, export it into your favourite audio editor, and use some of its inbuilt effects. Okay, so what I'm doing here is. Finding the bit that I want to affect, and we're going to open the time plugin uh, pitch bender in Audition and just whack OK on that. Now, depending on how your Z is set up, you could save it into like an auto load or quick recorder in or import it, whatever, but just pull it into the log. <laughs> Ooh, that double beat. All right, let's match the beats so it seamlessly goes from your song into that pre-effected grab. And this is the bit that you've really got to finish. You've got to take time with this because it'll stand out really badly if you don't do it right. And just place your sweep at the beginning of the effect and adjust the volume to match the vocals. And voila! Auburn Groves, hit 92.9. Cross my heart, hope that... Alrighty, well, that's it. Cheers for watching. Hopefully you got something out of it. I'd love to know how you're using Zeta. Why don't you comment your personal like tips, tricks, and learnings, and that way we'll all get something out of it. Now, this one obviously was squarely focused on segueing. The next ones, we're going to delve into the other modules, including my personal favourite, the Z Player. Feel free to give this a cheeky share to anyone who's using Zeta, or maybe there's a station thinking about getting Zeta. You should totally get it. All right, until next time, see you, bye, see you.